Hey Plant Fam! Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jacqueline. This is part of my jungle. And if you're not new here, thank you for coming back. So today I have some plant mail. I have two separate boxes from two separate places. So if you missed it, I downloaded an app. Also, David's in the kitchen cooking. Sorry. <laughs> so um, if you hear that, also I just said cat hair stuck to my lip. That's fine. So if you hear noise, it's because he is currently making dinner. But I wanted to open up this mail with you guys. We just got home from the DMV, so I wanted to open, <laughs> open these baggages as like my treat for surviving the DMV. But I'm officially a Connecticut resident, yay me. Anywho, the first box that I have here, um, these are both from the Plant Story app. And I will leave it linked down below for you guys to go and check it out. If you wanna go and check it out, I'll be doing a live sale on there as soon as I am approved to go live on there. If we're not approved by next week, then I'll just do a live sale on Instagram. So make sure you're following me on Instagram. I will be doing lives on TikTok as well. I'm just not at a thousand followers yet. So make sure you go and follow me there so that we can do lives there as well. Um, this first box here is from Macy. She goes by the Green Coverts and she shipped this from Louisiana. Um, it came fairly quickly. I actually got this yesterday. Today's Thursday. So she shipped it Monday and I got it Wednesday, which was very quick. And I'm not going to lie to you. I don't remember what's in here. But I bought plants. Um, so I highly recommend checking out the Plant Story app. And I figured we would unbox the stuff that I got. At least two of them. I have a third one coming tomorrow. I might just like skip it or do that as like a separate like quick little TikTok video or I may very well tack it on to the end of this one. I'm not exactly sure. We'll see how I feel tomorrow. So this is what the inside of the package looks like. She sent me cute little stickers. Oh cute. A little Syngonium elbow sticker and then this is her logo. So I don't know if she sells anywhere else. It looks like she has a website, thegreencovert.com. So I can leave that link down below for you guys, but I am gonna leave the, um, the link for the Plant Story app as well. I think this also has all of her info here on it if you wanna take a screen grab where to find her. I found her on TikTok um, through her personal TikTok and then I went to her sale. <laughs> so, oh, that's cute. She gives you like little tips for acclimating your plant. We don't really need that. We know what we're doing, but the packaging looks really good. We just have some tissue paper in here and then it looks like the plants are taped down to the bottom of the box. And the first one here that I'm gonna pull out is this little baby one. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so cute and tiny. So I did mention to you guys that I've been wanting to collect more anthurium seedlings, which is um, what I've got in this new little setup that you would have seen me do um, in yesterday's video. I've got like a little philodendron in there and an alocasia. And a little baby anthurium, but I'm hoping to weather strip this to keep the humidity in a little bit better because right now it's just sitting at 53%, which isn't different than the room humidity, um, so that I can have my alocasias live in there, like this little guy. I'm gonna have to just put this in like a covered cup. Um, it is taped down quite a bit. I'm just trying to figure it out. This is not a bad shipping method though at all for like keeping little babies safe. So this little seedling, oh my gosh, look at how freaking cute you are, is an Anthurium 
half times mag times dark crystal. I don't know. I have this other one here that's a dark crystal Bessier hybrid. So I was like, all right, cool. I'll try another one. Um, and it's so teeny tiny, but it was really cheap. I don't remember how much I paid for it, but I was like, ah, eh, screw it. Cause I had already bid on this other one and one. And I was like, when I'm paying for shipping, I'm like, I might as well. It looks like it's in tree fern fiber. I've never had anything in tree fern fiber before, or maybe it's soil and then tree fern fiber on top, but look at it. Oh my goodness, look at the cute little teeny tiny leaf. That is so stinking cute. I don't know what that is. Um, that is really, really cute. So I'm just gonna leave it in here because obviously it's happy in here, it's rooting in here. Um, I'm just going to put it into like a cup with a lid so that it can stay in 100% humidity ideally because that is the only way that I've been successful with these little guys I have another anthurium seedling that's a no ID so as soon as I get the humidity right in here I'm gonna be moving all of them in there okay next I don't know what this is I don't remember but we're gonna find out together <laughs> it's packaged really well I was just very curious about like this app in general and I figured it'd be fun to do a little collective unboxing. Right, right. Okay, I remember now. Oh, cute, it's bigger than I remember. This is a little cutting of the philodendron UPI that I bid on and I won. It looks like it has some new growth here, which I'm not mad about. Um, I thought it was smaller for some reason. I'm not mad. Um, super cheap compared to what I paid for my large one. But I figured um, I would snag another little baby since this one seemed really reasonably priced. I think it was like 30 bucks, uh, if I'm not mistaken. And it's cute. Got a new growth point popping out right there. I have one that's like super mature up in the greenhouse that needs to be repotted, but I figured um, I would have another little baby to propagate from so that I don't get sad propagating my own plants. <laughs> so that is everything that I got from Macy at the Green Covert, Convert, Covert. Um, yeah, so I'm not mad about that. I actually think I'll take this sticker and put it on my little anthurium baby so that I remember that I got it from her right I think that'll be cute so now we remember where we got it from very very cute okay next package is oh and I just noticed that this paper clip is a leaf that is so stinking cute okay so this next package got a little bit beat up <laughs> Um, this one came from Texas and this one is from cultivar. I've been following them for a really long time on Instagram I just never ordered from them. So they were doing a little live sale and they had some cuttings of some wishlist plants That I really hadn't anticipated getting my hands on anytime soon So I am NOT mad. There's no Hoya No Hoya today the package I have tomorrow has Hoya coming so I may or may not I think I'm just gonna do it separately honestly for the sake of this video not being like insanely long um so definitely make sure you're following me over on TikTok so that you can see that unboxing okay I think I opened it upside down because it's taped <laughs> to this side um but that's fine. So I do find this very interesting in the in the heat. I thought this was like just cold weather packaging, but apparently people use it for hot weather packaging too. So I do have an invoice here. How to root your unrooted cuttings. I think they are both rooted. 
What happened, babe? So you. Okay. Are you putting the plates on? Yep. Okay, thank you. Okay. I only got new plates for my car. I got Connecticut plates officially. Yay, me. Um, okay, yeah. So there's two cuttings in here. Oh, I need a little food containers. So I'm going to get in here nice and gentle. Very great packaging. Never mad about this type of packaging at all because I feel like no matter what you do, you kind of can't mess it up. Um, especially for little cuttings like this. Oh, cute. That's super cute. Little sticker. Um, so definitely check them out. They're on Instagram. They're on the Plant Story app. Um, and they were having like a pretty good sale. Oh my gosh, that leaf. You guys, these are so pretty. Wow, I really never thought that I was gonna have these in my collection, I'm not gonna lie to you. Okay, so it looks like he put them both into one container, which is super inconvenient for me, because that means I have, no, 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 they're not. Okay, good. <laughs> One's I think like just in paper towel here. Oh my goodness. So in case you didn't know, the Plant Story app is pretty much open to anybody. You do have to get approved to sell on there. So I'm not sure how that works, but I do have like selling experience. So I feel like I should get it, get approved. Um, but it's just a really cool app because you can just buy cuttings from people. Um, even just like not in live auctions, just on the app in general, you can buy stuff from people. So I did pick up this leaf is a little bit you know cut but i knew that this monstera adansonii albo i think this is the japanese one and i paid 19.98 for this little cutting which i thought was a good deal they usually go for like 50 even for just the one leaf cutting so i thought that was a good price give it like six months and it probably won't be anymore <laughs> But um, if you know me, you know that the Adansonii is one of my favorite plants, just like period of all time. Um, I have the mint variegated one. I have the Aurea that's like not looking great because it was an import, but even that wasn't cheap, um, even as an import. So I just want to get in here and see, got all this floof here. I do see like a little active growth point coming out which I knew about which is why I snagged this one I tried to get the top cutting but somebody beat me to it but it does have this little growth nubbin coming off the bottom right here so I am going to throw this in a prop box and we are going to continue to let it root it does have some good roots already and once it starts throwing out some new growth and stuff for me then I'll feel comfortable transferring it to soil and letting it live its life in the greenhouse so hopefully this will grow nice and fast for me and I'll be able to take some cuttings for you guys so I'm really excited to grow this one out very 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 cute okay next I literally did not ever anticipate having this plant in my collection anytime soon because the prices are so high they are coming down but when I saw this cutting, I was like, you know what? That's really stinking cute. And it is the variegated philodendron domesticum. And it does have a new little leaf coming in that doesn't look variegated, but that's fine. Because this cutting was only $29.99. So $30 for this one, $20 for the other one. And then I think shipping was like 15 or something like that so not bad overall i think in my personal opinion i think the prices are coming down on this variegated domesticum as well maybe this won't be a great price in a few months but as of right now i thought it was a great price because they do usually go for more than that even just for a cutting um and i knew that it was a reputable seller so that helped as well this one is in some moist paper towel. Paper towel is still pretty moist. 
and it does have a little baby roots ah oh, oh, little baby roots so this little growth point will hopefully get some variegation on it um but yeah it's really cute cute little cutting so that is everything that I got let me just show you again really quick we've got this pap times mag times dark crystal are we ready for my anthurium era you guys I'm not sure if we are um, and then I got also from Macy the philodendron UPI for a really nice price on that one and then the really cute where did I put it oh really bub this really cute adansonii albo variegated and my cute little domesticum variegated i'm just gonna like stick it in here for now in this moist moss so that it's not dry but that is um two of the three orders that i made on plant story earlier in the week and i mean i'm not mad about it the shipping was really fast and the packaging was really good i think that you should be cautious on there and make sure that you're only buying from people that maybe you've already seen before people that you know um people that maybe have good reviews elsewhere um just like be cautious for sure but it is a really really cool app to play around on and i highly recommend checking it out so let me know in the comments below which one of these plants you would have bought do you have any of these plants in your collection these are definitely like some of my favorites the anthurium is new to me but i am loving this dark crystal bessier hybrid that i have so I wanted to try some new ones and see what happens. Plus, I snagged this one for 12 bucks, which I thought was a steal. So, it is doing okay so far in a lower humidity situation, but I, I don't want to keep it there. So, that is, uh, that's my, that's my story for today. I hope that you guys enjoyed hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed this cute little unboxing definitely go and check out the sellers that we mentioned here today and uh, give this video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything from, from me, me. <laughs> there's a join button down there if you want to be part of the official Fish. plant hey, fam hey, get yourself some perky perks, perks. <laughs> If not, there's a super thanks button if you want to super thanks me. Everything is appreciated. You guys know I can't do this without you. I am so grateful for each and every one of you. Make sure that you leave me. Babe, what kind of emojis should they leave me? Uh, chicken? Because you're. Carrots. <laughs> chicken and carrots. Because <laughs> that's what he's cooking. <laughs> that's not all he's cooking. There's pasta too. Chicken carrots, chicken carrots and bow ties. Yes. <laughs> or butterflies. It's butterfly pasta. Wait, they look like bow ties. They do look like bow ties, but they're called farfalla, they which is farfalla. Italian for butterfly. Anyway, I love you guys. Leave whatever emojis you feel like in the comments. And I hope you're having a beautiful day. Wherever you are in the world, don't forget to spread kindness. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.